James Madison will be your EPL Invitational Champion. <laughs> Madison himself. Oh, beautiful. James Madison. James Madison! <laughs> no one's going to want to come to this place when it's like this. James Madison will be... himself is this the irish player or was that was that grelish was that jonathan grelish the guy who was gonna either play for he was gonna play for ireland and he was choosing between i have no idea what i'm talking about all i know is i saw the word mad in his name and mad lad mad lad madison well there's the title of today's video got him What's up, boys, and welcome to the Player Moments James Madison episode. Yeah, a card that has righted one of two wrongs from EA at the moment. Uh, red player picks are not being given out to a certain set of players. I believe it's like Beloved. Beloved. Above or below goal two, um, not 100% sure what it is, but there's a certain set of the FIFA community that has not received their reds, uh, reds yet. I have not logged on the RTG to check, uh, but that is one thing that needs to get fixed. And number two, James Madison never got a team of the season for the Premier League, and a lot of people were upset about that, specifically uh, Leicester supporters who believe that he had one of the best Premier League seasons as a mid, and I would go so far as to agree that we probably should have gotten this card at some point during the, uh, during the Premier League team of the season. But it is a wrong that is righted here, but today it is all about finding out if he is worth the 180,000 coin price tag, if he is worth the 96 total upgrade uh, from his 87 rated inform card, and we're going to see if he is worth all of that uh, for a 90 rated James Madison card. For all intents and purposes, looks pretty damn mad. But speaking of Madison, drop a mad lad like on the video or else you're not getting messy in your player pick pack when they finally return in like nine weeks. <laughs> Got him. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below, but let's get right into it. High, medium work rates, perfect for a cam. Uh, four star, four star, right footed. Uh, I don't believe he gets himself an upgrade. He's always had four star, four star. For player moments, I guess it would have been cool to see him get maybe a five star skill moves for the hell of it to make up for the fact that he didn't get a release during Premier League team of the seasons or maybe even a five star weak foot. Um, alas, it's four star, four star, right? 175, 180,000 coins. Uh, we get some pretty nicely jacked off pace stats. Goes up to 88, acceleration 80. 85 sprint speed. The shooting stats are pretty gassed up. 86 finishing, 98 shot power with 93 attacking positioning. I'm looking at this card right now and I'm I'm wondering, I mean, he looks kind of like a, he's not as short as Messi, but I mean, I'm so inclined to call him the English Messi because his, his shooting stats are mad. His passing stats are mad. His dribbling stats for all intents and purposes. The only thing that you could knock this card on is the 77 reactions. We've gone ahead and we've jacked that up with the engine. I want to see what he looks like with the engine chem style. It's the 60% uh, most popular chem style on footbin. Uh, Shadow is, uh, Sniper is right after that. No defensive stats to speak of whatsoever. Uh, and then physical stats, 90 stamina, which is what you're hoping for. Would have been ruined if he had anything under like 83 or 84. Um, shouldn't say ruined, but would have uh, taken a little bit of the blow off the card. But... Very, very nice looking card. Very, very nice looking card indeed. Now, Leicester is looking pretty sweet. I don't have the funds on this account to afford the 95 team of the season Vards, but we've got that Ndidi. We've got that Lord Farquaad. We've got what the fuck's you talking about? And then we've also got all the first owner players that we packed from that 82 La Liga upgrade pack, including a Franco de Jong, whose duplicate we have in the quick sell recovery, including a Saul, which because of the duplicate Ter Stegens and the duplicate uh, Franco de Jong, we were able to get done for a lot cheaper. Diogo Carlos, first owner. Carvajal, first owner. Ter Stegen, first owner and the cheek of me to include 96 all black arguably the best keeper in the world uh on the bench as well so this is the squad we're going to be running into a couple matches with if this 442 doesn't play up to the standard we're going to switch to the 442 uh move um uh, Saul to left CDM and then Madison right CDM, uh, uh, right CM, and then we'll have Vards and Rodrigo up top. But let's get into a couple matches with this James Madison's 90 EPL Invitational winning card. Match number one. Is this the Irish player or was that was that Grelish? Oh, go on, man. His highest defensive stat is 56 interceptions, so I don't think. <sighs> Alright, can't confirm his agility is kind of mad. It's so old, dude. Okay. Hmm. Can I borrow a tenner? 
¿Qué? Regalen una pelota así, por favor. Ahí va la pelota en el área. La puede cruzar. Oh, dude, James Madison, come on, bro. That's gotta be it. Come on, boys. Oh, this guy's just time wasting the entire time, bro. It's May. I know that there's objectives out there, bro, but it's damn May. He, dude, R Rodrigo's what I want to do in this match right now. I just want to lay down a blanket and pass out. You guys won't even see a video today. I'm just, you're just gonna see me sleeping on the floor. I can't wait to see the possession on this one. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's not how that was supposed to go. Rodrigo's cracked. Rodrigo, Rodrigo is an absolutely cracked card. If there's one upside to packing Parejo, it's the fact that you can link him to a Rodrigo, who I believe is an SPC that has no expiry, or as Wikipedia? It's time for What To Do Now And How. I'm an adult virgin. What stadium is this? Atlantis. Estadio de Gran Canaria. Yeah, now that I think about it, the fact that we had him out wide is one of the crimes of 2020. De Jong's gonna stay out there. Fatih's gonna be over there. Madison. All right, dude, this is what we should have done from the get-go. What am I doing? He doesn't have the dribbling trait, but he's got some he's got some mad dribbling ability, boys. Is this the Irish player or was that was that Grelish? There's the finishing inside the box, boys! That's the mad lad Madison that we know. He's putting down that damn carpet and he's gonna take a little nap. Frank De Jong, he knows all about it, bro. He's just gonna let him chill. At least someone's getting a good haircut during this pandemic. Nice little through ball from James, uh from Vards. Damn dude. I've already got so many Leicester players. I have the first owner Vards on the RTG, boys. I feel like I almost have to do this, but then again, that's going to be 180k of untradables and tradables that I that takes uh, that takes away from someone I can get from the Bundesliga. Forget young. This never happened. His Virgil van Dijk just made two saves, or whoever the hell that was. In other words, he didn't need a keeper in net to keep those literally. I was five feet from the net on both opportunities, and his keep and his uh, center back goes ahead and makes those saves. Look at that! Look at the passing. Frankie de Jong. FDJ coming in with a brilliant, brilliant scoop turn, a nice little McGiddy spin, and it might be all that's required to get this guy out of the match. Is, it, is there only going to be one outcome? I think all there the might only be one outcome, boys. Rage quit thing. Goal, 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 goal. All right, so we get an 8.8 .8 for James Madison. He gets himself a goal. Agility, very good. Dribbling, very good. And then so far with shooting, we've been 50-50. feel like that second shot could have come in, but, I mean, let's be honest, all of them don't go in in FIFA sometimes. On engine Didi. Hay peligro en el pase, ojo. Sigue adelante, buena conducción. Okay, James Madison. Okay. We get it. We get it. You're pissed that you weren't included in the Premier League team of the season selection. Fair play. But you didn't have to go ahead and do it to this guy. He has a family, you know. Jesus. The absolute audacity of the lad to do that on a Thursday when red picks aren't given out. What 
the hell? Esa pelota es buena, cuidado. Max Cruce. What a finish. Good finish, dude. That Max Cruz. Hey, you know what? Hey, fair play. Respect to the lad. Max Cruz. Ahí está Messi. Enorme pase para que su compañero lo alcance y de Saúl. Hay peligro en el pase, ojo. Wilfred Bendidi. Jamie Bardi. Y está por el empate. Era una oportunidad clara y no logran aprovechar. He still somehow holds on to the ball. Okay, James Madison is a bit cracked. And I think Engine Chem Style is the one that you want. I'm an adult virgin. How does he make it? Uh, you, you know when you just have one of those days where you just can't be asked to play FIFA? Today is one of those days. I literally just, I don't want to play FIFA right now. I just want to get into foot champs. I hate rivals. Oh my God. Given the way that we kicked off the match, almost murdering this guy's entire lineage, um... I think that we probably deserve to lose that match in the way that we did. Max Cruz going on to corroborate how I feel about his card. An absolute mad lad banged him in. And the only time I come up against him in this epi, he absolutely freaking thrashes me. So, what do we get with James Madison? A really, really good dribbler. Is able to finish most chances inside the box. A near perfect cam. Four star, four star. The only way it could get better is obviously with the five star week. Uh, but James Madison went ahead and he did a mad thing. And scored two goals in this one. I think scored a goal in the, in the second match. And uh, just really, we didn't stand a chance in that first match. But we did still showcase... Uh, the fact that he is a mad lad dribbler. For 182,000 coins on the Xbox, for 175k on the PS, I'm going to say that this is actually pretty decent value for the card that you get. An absolute mad lad cam, probably one of the only places you want to play him. Might even consider him at striker, but given his height, I think he's probably better as like a center forward or a cam. Uh, so in terms of the value, I am going to give it a 4 out of 5. I know that might seem crazy to some of you guys, but the agility, um, just the, the, the finishing capabilities, the passing capabilities, the 4 star, 4 star, the 90 stamina, just one of the best well-rounded chance creating cams uh, in the Premier League and you can get them for a massive massive discount so I would go so far as to say four to five on in terms of value and I'm also going to give it a four out of five in terms of on the pitch performance even though we only won one game by causing a rage quit um, I was very very impressed with uh, James Madison's performance uh, himself wasn't able to single-handedly take over a game. I don't think I'm playing particularly well today. This is probably just a good, uh, probably good to get this out of the way before Foot Champs kicks off tomorrow. But a very, very solid and one of the best chance creating cams in the Premier League, if you're looking for that piece to to, to 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 complete your puzzle. And also one of those guys that links into a Vards, an Ayos Perez, an Ndidi, a Fuchs, and also a Sayonchu. Leicester City fans are uh, are spoiled this year when it comes to choices for Ultimate Team. So hopefully, uh, like I said, hopefully you guys did enjoy. And I would give it a thumbs up if you guys are considering getting a chance creating Cam. And just a guy that looks really, really nuts and feels really, really nuts in game. So uh, that's going to do it for the episode, you boys. If you did enjoy, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. We'll be streaming my weekend league rewards over on Nick's, uh, over on Twitch tonight, uh, and we'll also be opening some viewer packs as well as completing some objectives in anticipation of the Bundesliga that we're going to be getting tomorrow. Uh, Bundesliga team of the season release that we're going to be getting tomorrow. I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.